All right, guys, um, it's come to an end. Sorry it had to happen like this. Um, the channel going completely different direction. Um, we're not gonna be doing overlanding. Um, so stay tuned to, so I can go over what, what we're gonna focus on. All right, so before we go on and um, I go over this adventure, this YouTube uh, video that, that I'm putting out, um, where I'm going to meet up with some friends from Scottle and Bottle, and we camp and we cook, and I'll, show, I'll walk you around some of the cool things um, that everyone's got. Um, let me go ahead and just put away my very um, time-consuming setup and tell you exactly what's going on. We got rid of the go fast camper. This kitchen setup is just takes way too much time to to set up. It's um it's just super burdensome and inconvenient. Um, but the channel will now officially be stamp collecting. So we're going to have all the stamps, all the states. Uh, I'm going to go into detail where I got them, what I was thinking when I got the stamp, uh, what I had for breakfast. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not. Before you click away, it's not stamp collecting. I promise. Um, we're getting ready to launch some very cool products. Uh, Inca4x4.com is getting revamped. Um, we have a new store, Inca Overland Outfitters, um, that will have everything you need. Trail rated gear um, for Tacoma, Gladiator, Ram, Tundra, all the platforms. Um, but what we did is we got rid of the go fast. Uh, but on the East Coast here, we, we are gonna launch a camper for Gladiator and Tacoma and the other platforms, Ram, Tundra, um, coming soon. And not only will you have all the, all the extras, all standard, the rack's gonna be included, you don't need to pay extra. The pass-through window's gonna be included, don't need to pay extra. The side um, windows in the tent material are gonna be included, don't need to pay extra. Ladder is gonna be included, don't need to pay extra. Um, yeah, and then the cool thing, the Pelican windows are gonna have molly on the side. So you can attach things to them. It's gonna be aluminum, so it's gonna be very rugged, very um, resistant to the elements. And it's um, aluminum on the top too, so you can stand on it. Um, we're just giving you everything you need from the beginning because I've been there, you know, set up the solar, done all the mods, and uh, I know exactly what what um, what you need. So if you're interested, make sure to go to the website, sign up for the letter, the newsletter head, um, so you can get up to date information on when that's released. And we have a new rooftop tent model coming out. Uh, we have great products, lighting products, Morimoto, KC highlights. We have a new um, products for camping, like gazelle tents. Those are great tents. We have all these items are gonna be available on the store. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this um, so we can grow this community. And I hope to be able to offer amazing products at great deals and see the adventures. I love seeing the adventures that people take on these trips. Um, we have the Inca 4x4 bags available on the website right now. Make sure to grab them. We're almost out. And yeah, uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, go over some of the food, some of the people set up, some cool things. I, I, I saw Harbor Freight has like a new um, compressor powered um, jack um, that looked really cool you has both it's a bottle jack you can use it like a regular bottle jack or you can hook it up to your compressor um someone had and they showed it to me and yeah just some amazing people that i'm always meeting and i'm glad to be part of this community i'm not going anywhere so don't worry we're not doing stamps <laughs> that was a joke um and make sure to 
uh, follow me on Instagram. That's where I most up to date things and my website, Inca4x4.com. Thank you. So right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm meeting up with, uh, with a group in the North Georgia mountains, uh, Hawk Mountains, where I'm going. And uh, the problem I ran into is I had the GPS going, uh, but the Wi-Fi interrupted and I deleted, um, I closed out the app. So thankfully, um, I guess this section I had already downloaded on Gaia and I was able to like follow, I'm um, following basically the track, but uh, the four bangers are doing great and uh, shining the, shining it really well now. This is like the point exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I had to figure out where, um, am I turning right or left? So if I go left, no, I need to go right. Yeah, so uh, this is why it's important to like know on oh, here's a sign to camp. No, it doesn't say I'm trying to reach Hawk Mountain, um, but yeah, the pin the pin drop that I have is uh, here and left would have taken me down this way, and that's not what I want to do. So I'm gonna take this road here. So it's uh, just. Another pro tip, just make sure you like save the areas that you're going to go so that way if you don't have a um, cell phone service, you can still use your, your GP, uh, your Gaia GPS or Onyx. Damn, there's like a lot of different terms. So what the... Now I really want to make sure that I... But I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to make sure I follow this right and uh, we'll meet at camp. So right now, I don't have the Gravity Pro 6 up top, which are amazing lights. Uh, make sure to go into the link and um, if you're on the fence on getting a, a light, the Gravity Pro 6 are just like one of the best overhead lights you can get. Uh, the look, everything is amazing. Um, you can get covers for them and yeah, go to the link on the bottom and purchase on their store. Uh, I just want to show you the Morimoto four bangers. Uh, I got them on a switch here. The Jeep lights are, the LED lights are, are really good, but the Morimoto four bangers just um, give you that like deep, you know, they cut in and they give you good visibility. I love the ambers, just one, because how they look how they perform in like uh, snow or fog or dust. Um, so yeah, make sure to go to the bottom and click on, on the link. Uh, we have them at our store and it's definitely a piece of uh, lighting that I use all the time. Like you can see all the way out there. Um, so yeah, just wanted to point that out to you. All right, so I'm here. Uh, I made it out to the camp spot and uh, they, the group has like a really nice fire going. Everyone's got their setups and got the fairy lights. I'm in the gazelle tent because we got rid of the, the go fast camper and I'm about to make some uh, rice with um, some salmon. And this is camp tonight. French, right? All right, so I, we're just checking out some setups over here and I, I just got a peek of this and it's, it's really nice. You said you cut this out, right? Yeah, you just, you line it out and then you some take Milwaukee. a razor blade. But the cool part is I bought the red foam on the inside. Mm. So you can- does, like, it, does the foam come with it or? No, you, so this there's a guy that sells this Kaizen foam. Okay. And you buy it in the size of your, your box. And then you just take a marker and line it all out. And then like these. Oh, wow. So that they fit, cut it out. And it also just doesn't rattle, right? Yeah. And then lock it up. And then because it's Milwaukee pack out, you just lock it into the mounting plate. And then I'll just stay locked in the wow. bedside or whatever. I don't have know? any Milwaukee products, but that's really well. Dope. If you get into the Milwaukee stuff, either M12 or M18, these just boxes for... are way cooler than I thought they were. Hmm. I like them now. That's nice. 
Hey, so I um, so we got the food almost done. The rice right there. Uh, Marco from Overland X. Uh, we got the salmon's doing its thing with some butter. And uh, what I'm trying to look for is my tong. But uh, this is set up right now without the go fast. And I'll show you um, the, the nice fire we got going on. It's a good group here. Less than a mile, you're gonna hit it. So we have a good friend here, and I'm just checking the back of his rig. I've never really looked into it. He's got a sweet, like, patch collection, stickers. Um, he's about to make some coffee, but this is, this is a drawer system he built. And this is, what year is the Tundra? Uh, 2000. 2000 Tundra. Um, with the ARE fiberglass topper. And uh, yeah, I'll just step back a little bit and show you. He's got a rooftop tent. He's got the awning. He's got a nice, a nice build here. Yeah. And uh, you said you made all this yourself? Yes, I did. Oh, nice. This is a three quarter inch uh, birch wood slide out table. So I can bring it all the way out. All the way out to here. Wow. And you're pretty tall, so. Yeah, I'm 6'3. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfect height right here for me. Yeah. 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 I'm happy I have the 270 only because it covers a lot of the wind, so it kind of calms it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm missing my awning right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Jeep over there is just bare. Yeah, this looks good. It still looks good though. Yeah. It still looks good, yeah. Bear, butt fucking another bear out there. <laughs> so I'm making coffee here and just doing the old drip method. Drip drop. So that one's uh, set up over here. Let me show you in to the back. It's got the Davinson drawers. Got the CVT 10. What year is a uh, uh, 07? Yeah, it's a clean setup. It's got the lights. He's getting a new. Um, uh, goose gear, delete. Yeah. And I'm over here without a go fast camper. <laughs> Sleeping in, in the gazelle tent. Doing some bacon. About to throw out the little bit of plantains I got. And I uh, got a little bit of rice left over. El quemadito, the little burnt part. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have, I have something similar. Um, this is the other one, uh, Mountain Hatch? Yeah, Mountain Hatch. Yeah. It's got that um, tough stuff overland uh, rooftop tent. This is a Raptor. You guys have checked this thing out. He's taking it out to Mo. You've been out to Mo, right? Yeah. yeah. Did a we big did trip out west. Lands. We did the uh, White Run. Yeah. Can I peek inside? Yeah, go for it. It's wet up there, but yeah. Yeah, this thing's nice too. Mattress uh, looks really comfortable. Is this the um, the two-person one or? That's four. This one's a four-person. Yeah, yeah. We I can test. We've tested it up to three and a dog, so I, I know it works. Yeah. <laughs> they always say like. Uh, Four person, but it's like comfortable, like three. Yeah, three people. I mean, my daughter's 11, so she's not like a full size person, but you know, three people and the dog was fine up there. Yeah. I got sliders coming soon. So he's got, yeah, sliders. <laughs> Did you, um, are you doing a, a winch uh, at some point? It's super difficult on these because the intercooler for the turbo sits right where you want to put the winch. Yeah. So the way you do it is you buy a Cobb intercooler or one of the other ones and it relocates it up further into the grill. But they're a fortune. Also, to do a winch on this... To uh, do a winch right in the front. 
you yeah. have to spend a couple thousand bucks just before you buy the winch. Oh, so the uh, intercooler has yeah, to... Yeah, the turbo intercooler is down low. Okay, so that's... I never... Yeah. You wind up having to relocate the intercooler. It goes up into the grill from here to yeah. the grill. The Swarforks makes one that fits in these stock bumpers. And, but that's a couple hundred bucks. And then the winch is a couple hundred bucks. So by yeah. the end of the day, it's a couple thousand dollars to move wow. from a mount winch. Now, um, question everyone's probably asking you, have you jumped it? <laughs> <laughs> Not on purpose. Not on purpose, okay. <laughs> and it's uh, Halloween, so you'll see the Halloween theme. Yeah. Cool. We get the light for the chuck. Well, look at that. And then I put another quick chuck. There you go. <laughs> I put another quick chuck on the other this side. Side. So I just, and I have the more flight. I've just bought the two, two way yeah. more flight. So I'll do this side and then I just disconnect, go clip in over there and that's, do the other side. That's dope. Um, yeah, so I, my, nice. so this right here is uh, Harbor Freight new, it seem I think it's a new product, right? Because I, I don't not, know if it's new or not. I haven't seen it down the like jack out, but it's uh it's basically a bottle jack, and I'm I'm a believer in like bottle jack versus a high lift jack. Well, yeah. And you can so you run your air in here. That's your trigger, and then it lifts it. It has like you know if you don't have air, you can use the handle. Oh, so that's perfect too. And it's big, it's 12 ton capacity, which is way more than I need, but that's what yeah. they have. Wow, that's cool. And then I bought one of these range bags that's just big enough to hold it. Yeah. And it just lives up there on the wheel well. It's perfect, yeah. So it's 12 pound capacity. You have the air chuck to either use it this way or you can use it just regular um, with a handle. That's really cool. So you can save yourself some weight and like uh I not handle oh, too as a back. Oh look it breaks down. Uh yeah. keep the handle on here. Wow. That's dope. That's kind of, yeah. Cool. Appreciate you showing me that. Yep. Morning, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. Um, Sorry we passed out last night. Yeah. No, no. It was it's nice uh chat last night. That's what I thought of. I was like 20 minutes <laughs> after you before you got here, we were just dead. So this is camp. We got pumpkin pancakes, all the stuff. You got to get pumpkin everything uh, this time of year. Pumpkin coffee, pumpkin beer, pumpkin Bye pancakes, right. pumpkin flavored 10W30 too. Yeah. For the truck. Hey, what's up, guys? So we got um, some rice some bacon, some plantains. Um, this is a leftover rice and just mix it up with some eggs. Um, my dad used to make stuff like that all the time. Just here at camp. It's really foggy, but I'm gonna still throw up the drone. Hey, so thank you so much for staying to the end. I really appreciate it. The channel is slowly growing. And if you leave a like, comment and subscribe, share it with someone i would greatly appreciate it if you want to see more information on my kitchen setup it's all aluminum it's uh very convenient the last airbnb i hosted it made it super easy to just have enough surface space to easily cook and park anywhere my cooking time was greatly decreased and as you know surface space is countertop space is premium so i can make a separate video on it if you want additional details just uh again leave it in the comments and the go fast is gone this video was shot in my backyard but i just kind of wanted to give you a a view of how i set up um, i was doing this holding my little girl reagan and I was still able to set up the 270 awning, set the tent up, set up my kitchen, and everything just worked out perfectly. So at the end of the day, just having a 
good setup, a clean setup, things in the right place goes a long way and I can't wait to do adventures with my little girl and my wife. So thank you again and leave me some feedback and hopefully I get to do another trip and see you guys on the trail soon.